India scripted history to follow US, China and Russia entering the elite space club. You have renowned yogi Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev speaking to Republic TV in this conversation uh, when uh, the Chandrayaan 2 launch of a happened. Listen into this conversation as how he lauded the efforts of our scientists when it comes to making this huge uh, project and this program when it comes to Chandrayaan 2 possible in a short span of time. Uh, Sadhguru at the launch and a lot of people were very curious to know what you were doing there but I want to start by giving you the opportunity of talking about your experience this must have been a spectacular experience for you share that with us and also how you came to be being there <laughs> it is a spectacular success uh, for the Indian space scientists ISRO as an organization is a highly committed organization it is always... Uh, I've been there quite a few times and uh, it is always a great joy to see the level of commitment and uh, the simplicity with which they function and above all the brilliant scientists of our uh, space uh, research organizations. Uh, as simple as they are <laughs> and what they have achieved and uh, you know I've been making some effort to understand the complexities of how it is done it's just mind-boggling, mm. but the way it is done is really, really incredible. And today is a, a huge, a massive step for India. And I hope uh, every Indian gets to know and celebrate this uh, great success. <laughs> but sir, I want to know from you, what is it that you were really interacting with the scientific community there about? Was there, you know, uh, was there a chat that you held with them over the last couple of days? What is it that you told them? Uh, they, I've been involved with them, I was there on 15th of July also. So, the important thing is uh, mm. whether you're a scientist or a doctor or a, a news anchor, whatever, you're essentially a human being. So, every human being is relevant to me and I'm relevant to them. <laughs> all right, all right, cryptic answer there. But uh, overall, was there some human. butterflies in your stomach as well? <laughs> Were you nervous too today? Butterflies in your stomach as well? Were you nervous too today? Uh, no. Uh, I've uh, kind of mastered those butterflies a uh, long time ago. <laughs> they, they are just in my <laughs> brains. They don't fly in my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> How big do you think it this is achievement a, is for is India, especially with the entire the, world looking at it? This is very significant. As you know, it is... Uh, we are the only fourth nation to manage this. Still, uh, it is not over. There is uh, still hmm. uh, la very delicate maneuvering to be done. Hmm. Mm, a large part of it is still not over, actually. It is in the next 15 days till 7th of September that uh, these uh, manipulations will happen which are very delicate and uh, there are yes. many, many complexities and challenges out there. But uh, yes. this launch happened way better than they had expected that uh, what they were expecting is some 39,000 39, kilometers for the Apogee, but uh, it went to 45,000, which gave them an extra boost or availability of 12 for the remaining operations, which puts them in a comfortable position for what they wish mm. to do, which is really wonderful for them. But it's an incredible team out there. It's something... Uh, I still want to know. I would say uh, our news channels and everybody I should... I still want to know. Yes, please tell me. Sorry, there's a lag between us, which is why it is coming across like this. But I want to know from you, how does a man of spirituality meet with the scientific community? Spirituality and science meeting today with your presence there. Well, uh, that's not a new affair because uh, spiritual process is a science in its own right. It is just that uh, one is exploring the external nature of creation, another is exploring the internal nature of who we are. So, uh, we always been close together that way. <laughs> Nothing new about that. <laughs> mm. Okay, uh, any... So this lag, uh, you don't know, uh, mistake me. Would you want to I'm wish Mumbai, something not, from this uh, mission? I'm not in the, uh, the... Would you want to wish something from this mission? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. 
No, I said the, this time lag is not because I'm in the orbit, I'm in Mumbai, just confirming to you <laughs> <laughs> We'll get… even if you were in uh, orbit, I think ISRO will do a fine job of reducing that time lag for us, they're that good. But I do want to understand from you, I don't know if you've seen, some ugly politics has broken out over the launch of the Chandrayaan 2 as well. You know, with the Congress saying that the credit grows to Nehru because it is during his time that the ISRO and other organizations were launched, Chandrayaan 1 came into being under Manmohan Singh. Do you want to say anything on that? Is it unfortunate to see this kind of uh, politics on a day like today when the entire country is celebrating as one? It is very unfortunate instead of giving our scientists the due, we get into this kind of uh, useless debates. Uh, it is very, very important every citizen in this country, please focus on acknowledging the successes of this nation, whether it's in science, sport, art, music or even spirituality, please learn to acknowledge that because uh, these things need momentum, mm. nation needs momentum, not all the time claiming who was responsible for this. Well, whoever is the prime minister has to do what he has to do for the country. I don't see why uh, these things should be ascribed to anybody, because the scientific development, the industrial and business development happens at any time. At any time it happens. So, mm. so, uh, if it happened during a certain political uh, era, it doesn't mean anything because it's the work of the scientists. Of course, political determination is needed. Right. Of course, political determination is needed and uh, right. budget and other things are necessary, but that is not the important aspect. What is most important is, it is the scientific community who's achieved this. Uh, I don't think any prime minister ever claimed that I did it. So let not these people go about claiming whether mm. it belongs to Congress or BJP, it, it is not like that. It is… it is… Uh, the, it belongs to India and that's what is wonderful about it. Absolutely. Finally, just a couple of questions more, uh, Sadhguru. I want to understand from you uh, how… you know, how you felt about… All right, I believe we are just connecting with the Sadhguru in just a bit, but of course he's sending out a greater message of how, you know, there was a lot of work that was done by the scientific community and they are the really, should be center stage right now, huge, huge achievement from them. And when I get him back, I do want to understand from him the message that it sends about the perseverance of our scientific community because remember just a week ago there was a delay, there was a setback, K. Sivan, all right, Sadhguru is back with us. Sir, if you can hear me, K. Sivan, Isra Chief talked about today how in the 24 hours after the last delay happened on July 15, mind-boggling work had to go in to kind of not just, you know, uh, do the launch again earlier today, but also do it in such a spectacular fashion, shows the perseverance of our scientific community and their, and their brilliance. Extraordinary level of com uh, commitment and hard work and of course brilliance. Without this, this won't happen. At a time like this, uh, it'll be disgraceful if people are fighting <laughs> who should get the credit. The credit goes to India and let all of us learn to say I enjoy that and celebrate that. Thank you. So one final question. This is a moment that inspires a whole new generation. I think one of the biggest takeaways from the fact that Chandrayaan 2 mission happened, it happened in the way it happened, even, you know, received a slight delay, is a great inspiring moment for a whole generation of uh, scientifically curious uh, children in India. Do you think this is going to propel India into a, you know, a greater scientific age? It uh, definitely will inspire the younger generation in a huge way. Uh, myself at this age, I'm so excited about it that I had to go there and spend a few hours and come back. I'm sure uh, the children uh, and the youth of this nation are hugely inspired by this. Definitely it will spawn the future scientists, space scientists and maybe astronauts uh, who will go beyond mm. uh, the boundaries of uh, the planet in so many different ways. We don't know what more things are due for us, but uh, definitely, though we are not the number one country in this uh, aspect, uh, in Asia, leaving China, we are the second 
uh, country doing this and with the kind of budgets that our scientists are doing, this is truly, truly remarkable and incredible. No yes. nation has done it with such low budgets as we have done it. This yes. shows how brilliant they are. And as you said, uh, Kailash Shivan mentioned that in 24 hours, I was talking to all the teams who were involved there. Uh, what they did in those 24 hours is uh, almost like a superhuman kind of effort. It's truly, truly fantastic because once the leakage happened, they had to unload all the uh, fuel and again fix this and reload this and have everything calibrated and enormous amount of tests to be done. Everything uh, through in 24 hours is a really a superhuman feat.